All right, guys, it is back there. There it is. It's picked it up. It's gonna be sick. Harbor Freight, here we come. So, the goal with this is I have a friend coming on board with the channel. He's gonna be helping us out. You're gonna see him more often. He brought my 11 horsepower Honda engine. And we're gonna see if we can use it and put it on something. And we'll see if we get things that do maybe do wheelies and do rip, some, some mean burnouts. I don't know, it's gonna be sick. It's 11 horsepower. It's gonna be a ripper and it's gonna be cool. All right guys, it is back there. There it is, it's picked it up. It's gonna be sick. All right, here it is. Here's the go-kart. Has big tires, knobby back tires, ginormous old metal sprocket. That is adjustable, I think. Looks like it. Uh, bad engine. There are no components on the side. So that is why we're going to rebuild our checking engine that we have to see if it will work. And hopefully we can modify to work in this go-kart. All right, it's going to be a straight ripper. I can actually fit inside this one. So this should be my go-kart. So before we can have a ripping go-kart, we have to have a ripping motor. So here it is. It's a GX340 Honda 11 horsepower engine that came off. Uh, apparently it has been rebuilt in the past. No idea. It's been sitting in a storage shed for years. I want to take off the carb and stuff, take off the gas tank, look it over, see if it's there. It does crank over and it does sound like it has compression. But I want to look through everything make sure it's good and clean so it will actually start yeah that's the goal for today so make sure you follow along see what we do see if we get this honda 11 horsepower running because it will be awesome that's a big motor to fit into that little go-kart should be great right emmy yeah. so good okay here it is on our work stand so we're gonna work on taking off some stuff taking off stuff check it out it does Spin over. This is a little stiff, but it does turn over, which is why we're hopeful. And last I checked, there was oil in it. It didn't look too bad. Yeah, it still looks almost new. It's not black. So that's a good sign for us that this is a Good Honda Ripper motor. Pull that out. <laughs> what is this? Um, it's kind of a ghetto rig. All right, we're gonna take out the car box here, all this stuff. We're gonna take this out so I can check it check the fuel line it still doesn't feel bad it's still a little squishy it's not over like exploded or gooey from being bad it doesn't look cracked but we'll check it see it's a family affair we all like ripping go-karts don't we yeah 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 all right well there was definitely fuel in there and it's definitely yellow so we're going to drain that out into this nifty container so we're not killing the environment and we can dispose of it right. Amy, what happened? You get pokies? What, you smash your finger? What? Something in your foot? Well, it's called the barefoot life, bro. Hey, come here. Let me check it. Okay, we got the carburetor off. And there was definitely old fuel, as you saw. And now uh, Hutz is working on taking out the gas tank. So we're gonna swish that out. The hoses look good, everything's looking good. I'm gonna clean this out, get some carb cleaner, take out the jet, and probably drop the bowl to make sure there's no more junk in there and that it's all working. And this thing might be pretty good. Okay, tank is off. We're gonna get a little vinegar, switch it out. And yeah, we'll see if she can run here in a minute. You didn't see the struggle, but this wasn't here anymore. It actually got pushed in somehow. 
but we got it out finally so we're gonna fill it with some vinegar we're gonna swoosh her out it doesn't look looks kind of crusty and bumpy in there if you see there in that reflection we're gonna make sure we clean it out good there's still some old gas in it get these cleaned out as well all right the gas tank is done and it did clean up the filter that's inside there which it's really hard to see but it's definitely better and it was very murky and we got the old gas out so we should now we're gonna put it back in get it done so when my stuff comes from my car I'm just finish cleaning it out then we can be good no one make sure. right, glad we are taking this apart right Hudson yeah it's delicious in here isn't it it's crusty and gritty and full of gunk and the jet was definitely plugged so we took that out cleaned the hole out got that out cleaned up the bowl cleaned up the strainer that we got out of the tank and we're ready for reassembly let me finish cleaning this and then we can go from there all right guys moment of truth got the carb clean got everything cleaned out got jets cleaned out got old fuel varnish out of the bowls I think we're ready here. Bolted up, fuel lines back on. We just need to get some new fuel. We'll check the oil one more time to really make sure there's oil in it. And then we're gonna give it a start. I think we're ready. I bought some premium fuel. We're gonna fill it up. I'm gonna move it over there to the drive so we can try to start it. Fuel is on. I don't know which way it should show. All right, here we go. The moment of truth. Cleaned. We got a gallon and a half of premium. Some starting fluid. Let's see if it starts. I turned it on. There's oil in it. Fuel on. I hope that runs.
can get that looks exciting. That was awesome. Yeah, it's been running for like half an hour. Right? This is a rip. How's that? Cool. How's that? Cool. We got it running. Yep. 11, 11 horsepower of Honda. It's about as much horsepower as all the rest of my Honda cars. This thing is going to rip. Yeah. Well, it's vibrating because it's not mounted down. It's just sliding around on the concrete. But there you go. Recovered. Salvaged. Cleaned. Running. I'm definitely going to buy a new spark plug. Might get the adapter for the carb kit. That puts right there and lets you put a little air filter. So we don't have to have all the stuff on top. But yeah, maybe an exhaust. And we could probably fix, fix the governor thingy. One day, take off the case and take out the arm and make it run. But there you go. That's how you fix. And a throwaway GX340 Honda 11 horse. I'm glad it really does run. Because we had no idea. It's been sitting for years. You saw the smoke at the beginning. They kind of cleared out. Because they're just cleaning up, getting some oil in the rings, and getting them to move around again. So, this is going to go in the big cart. It's going to be amazing. You're not following us. This is what you're missing out on.